Beruchim haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Daf Lamed Beis, Amud Beis at the very top. Until now, the Gemara is discussing various halachos of tefillah. Now, the Gemara discusses various mailois of tefillah. Says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Elozar, Gedoyla tefillah yoiser mi maisim toivim. Greater is tefillah than even maisim toivim. She'ein lecha godol be maisim toivim, yoiser mi moshe rabbeinu. He was only answered with tefillah, not with his Maisim Tovim alone. Shneimar says, Don't continue to speak to me. It says, Go up to the mountaintop and go look at Eretz Yisrael. In other words, the Pesach before ends by saying, Right? That means that this matter, referring to tefillah, that's what's bringing you to then be able to see Eretz Yisrael, not the Maisim Tovim from before. Says the Gemara of Amar Elozar, Gidoyla Tainis Yoiser Mihat Greater is Tainis, is fasting, than even Sdaka, my Taima. What's the reason? When it comes to giving Sdaka, it's with a person's money. And that's less intrinsic than the person who does something with his goof, and therefore a person does not eat or drink, that's more himself, more his actual essence. And therefore he's giving more of himself, it's considered to be a greater thing than the Maisim of Tzedakah. The greater than Karbonos, it says, The Apostlech says, HaKash Baruch tells through the Navi Yeshaya, Why do I need all of your sacrifices, v'ksif, u'befarischem, kapechem. Afterwards it says, and you will spread out your hands, reference, reference to tefillah. In other words, it's not your zvochim, but rather your sincere tefillah that HaKash Baruch Hu desires. Om Rabbi Yochanan, kol koyhen shehorag es hanefesh, lo yisa es kapov. Because the end of that previous verse says, u'befarischem, and then it says, Yideichem Domim Malehu. It's a reference to Nesias Kapayim, that the Avoida of, of, of Birkas Koihanim from the Koihanim. It says over here that a person who has blood on his hands, either he killed the Mezid, or sometimes, some say even the will then preempt and prevent him from doing Birkas Koihanim. The Amar Elazim Yoim Shechara Beis Hamikdosh. Nenalu Sharei Tefillah. From the time that the Beis Hamidish was destroyed, the gates of Tefillah were closed, were locked. Now it doesn't mean that a person should not daven. It just means that the Tefillos are not as easily niskabil. Shenem as it says, Gam ki ezak v'ashaveya sosam Tefillosi. The Navi says, also when I screamed out and I called out, my tefillah was closed. Even though the gates are locked for tefillah, but the gates of tears, when a person dives with tears, that has such a kayach, that is not locked. Shneimaz it says, Shima tefillosi Hashem, v'sha'avosi hazina el dimosi al techerash. Here it doesn't say, don't see my tears, but rather, al techarash, don't be silent. And therefore, you can hear tefillah that comes with tears. Rava loigoza ta'anisa da'ibo. He did not make a gzera of a tainis on a day that was excessively cloudy. Nishum shenemaz sakoiso be'anon lecho me'avor tefillah. There's a mechitza of the Anon, of the Anonim, of the clouds, not allowing the Tefillah to go through. Says the Gemara Vaiter ve'omar b'yalozer miyom shechor v'es hamikdosh nifseko choymas barzel ben Yisrael la'aviyam shebashamayim. For the time that the Beis Hamikdosh was destroyed, there was a choymas barzel that was nifsak, between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Avinu Shabbat Shomayim. Shinemaz, it says, V'ato, kach lecho machavaz barzel, 
v'nosato oiso kir barzel bein chol bein ha'ir. And you shall then take a pan of barzel, of iron, and place it as a kir, a wall between you and the city. So we see that there's a mechitza of barzel as a simen, there's mafsekes between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Orav Chanan, Orav Chanino. Kol ha'amarich b'tfilosoi, ain't tfilosoi chazeres reikam. A person who davens lengthy tfilo, of course with sincerity and kavonas halev, that tfilo is successful, it's not going to be chazeres reikam, it will be answered right away. Minolon, from what do we know? Mi Moshe Rabbeinu. Shenem as it states, ve'ez palel al Hashem, I will dive into Hashem, v'ksi basri, it says right afterwards, v'yishma Hashem elai, gam bepamahi. And therefore when it says, v'ez palel Hashem, it's talking about the 40 days and the 40 nights, when Moshe Rabbeinu was up on the mountain, and there he dove in throughout the entire time. Then it says right afterwards, HaKadosh Baruch Hu heard his tefillah. Eini es tegemar, is this so? That a person who is mispalo ba'arichus, then his tfilo eno chozer is reikom. Veho, om rabchia bar abo, om rabbi yoichanon, kol amarich betfilo soy, umaayen bo, soif boli de keev leiv. If a person who makes lengthy tfilos, and he's maayen in that tfilo, then a person will have a heart that is in pain. And the Gemara brings a verse, Shenemar, Toicheles Mimosheches Machalas Leiv. A person who longs, that person will long for something, for his feet to be answered, he'll have a Machalas Leiv, he'll have a heart that is in pain. My Takante, what is the remedy for such a thing? Yasoik Batoro. Like it states in the rest of the Apostle, Shenemar, Ve'ez Chaim Ta'ave Bo. And it'll be a tree of life for the one who desires it. Nevertheless, we're left, we're left with a question because we said somebody who's marich and tfila then ain't filosoi chayzeres reikom. And then we now said that a different mimer kol amarich b'tfilosu umayim ba. Then he'll have a heart that is in pain. Says the Gemara the following chiluk lo kashio. When it says a person who is marich in tfilo and is ma'ayimbo, he'll have a heart that is in pain. It's talking about somebody who is marich in tfilo and he expects that his tfilo is going to be answered. He says, because I daven so lengthy and so well, therefore Akadosh Baruch is certainly going to answer my tfilo. Such a person is going to then walk away with a heart that is in pain because he longs that Akash Baruch will then answer his tefillah b'zechus that he davens so well. But if a person just davens without such an expectation, he's marich b'tefillosoi, then ain't tefillosoi chayzeres reikom. Says the Gemara, Omar b'chamo rabbi chanino, imro odom she tis palel, v'lo nene yachzor v'yiz palel. What should a person do if he davens? And again, without expectation, he does, but he doesn't see a result. What should he do? He should not be misyayish and despair, but rather, yachzor v'yispalo, he should repeat and return to Davin again. Shenem as it states, kaveh l'ashem chazak v'yamis yibecha v'kaveh l'ashem. First it says, kaveh l'ashem, a reference to tefillah, hope in Hashem and call out to him in tefillah. And then it repeats it, Chazak v'yam isibecha v'kavei el Hashem. And then hope to Hashem again by davening to Him a second time. Says the Gemara bringing a b'raiso, Tonu Rabbonon, Arbo Tzrichim Chizuk. There are four things that require Chizuk, constant strengthening. Ve'eluhein, and what are these things that require constant strengthening? That a person has to strengthen himself with all of his might all of the time? One is Tyra. Number two is Maisim Toivim. Number three is Tfilo. And number four is Derech Eretz. The Gemara now brings proof for each one. Tyra u Maisim Toivim. Minayin. Where do I know that Tyra and Maisim Toivim also require constant strengthening? 
with all of one's koyach shenem as it states, rak chazak ve'ematz me'oid lishmor la'asois kekol ha'toro. Chazak ba'toro ve'ematz b'maisim toivim. It says the double lashon chazak ve'ematz. Chazak is going on toro. That requires strengthening. As it says, lishmor, you should guard, which refers to then re- learning and reviewing your learning. And it says, va'amatz, and that refers to doing, and that's referring to maisim toivim, actions. Tfilo minayin, what I know that tfilo requires also constant strengthening. Shremar, kaveh l'ashem chazak, v'yam etz libecha v'kaveh l'ashem. Like the puzzle we brought before requires davening, and strengthening oneself, and then davening. Derech Eretz Minayin, here Derech Eretz refers to a person's malacha, that that malacha that he's doing, whether it's schara, or whatever malacha he's involved with, is the umnus, that requires constant strengthening with all of one's koyach. Shenem it states, chazak v'nishazek v'ad amenu. V'atoy merzion, now the Gemara says, brings a pasuk, "Vataimer Tzion, Azavni, Azvani Hashem, VeHashem Shichachani." We have the double lashon that Kadosh Baruch Hu says. We Klaisel says that Kadosh Baruch Hu, you abandon me, and you also forgot about me. What is this double lashon of Azvani Hashem VeShichachani? Hashem, you also, Shechechani, you also forgot about me. Hainu Azuva, Hainu Shechucha. It means the same, Lachar. Hashem, He abandoned, therefore He forgot. What is the, st- the two languages of Azuva and Shechucha? Omra Ishlokish, Omra, Knesset Yisrael, Vinagrish Boruchu. Kleiso says before Hashem, Riboyno Shaloylam, Odom Noise Isho al Ishtoi. A man, he marries a woman, and then subsequently, subsequently marries another woman. Rishoyna Zoicher Maisa Harishoyna. The first one, he still remembers her good Maisim. It's true, he now is going to remarry somebody else. But nonetheless, he didn't then forget about the original one's Maisim. It's true, he abandoned her. In other words, he left her to now marry somebody else, but he still remembers her good Maisim from before. Ato, however, Chalaisio says, Hashem, Azavteni v'shachetani. Azavteni v'shachetani. You, you abandon us and you forgot us. Omar Lagish Baruch Biti. Yud Beis Mazol Lo Isborasi Birakia. I created 12 constellations in the Shamayim. Ve'al kol mazol lo mazol barasi lo shloshim chayil. I created 30, call it Sarem, Different troops that are in charge in every single mazel. Ve'al kol chayil va'achayil an ish sar barasi lo shloshim ligyoyin. Ve'al kol ligyoyin ligyoyin barasi lo shloshim rahatoyin. Ve'al kol rahatoyin rahatoyin barasi lo shloshim kartoyin. Ve'al kol karton ve'karton barasi lo shloshim gistero. These are all different types of koychos in the shemayim. Va'al kol gistero v'gistero, all these spiritual forces, talisi boisholosh mois v'shishim v'chamisho alfe riboy koychavim keneged yemois hachamo v'kulon lo borosi ela b'shvilcho va'at oimeres azavtani v'shachachtani, and you said that I abandoned you and I forgot about you. If you make a number and calculate this figure, it will be more than the calculator can even hold on to. There's so many zeros behind that one that it's trillions and quadrillions of all of these things that Baruch created on behalf of Klai Yisrael, Knesset Yisrael, his beloved people. The Pasuk, I'll read its entirety, says the following. Says the Gemara, quoting this Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Hatishkach isha ulo meirachem ben bitno gam ele tishakachno vanochi loeshkechech. Did you forget 
You woman, your little child, your baby, the one you were merachem, the son of your stomach, also these did you forget, and I shall also not forget. The Gemara now quotes the beginning of the Pasuk. Hatishkach isha ula. Did you woman forget about your child? Amar Kadosh Baruch Klum eshkach oilois. Eilim. The word ula is a reference to a korban oila, whereby HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I did not forget your oilois and your eilim, your sacrifices. And then the Pasuk that we quoted before goes on to say, Meirechem ben bitno. It's a reference to the Peterechem, Upri Pitre Rachamim, Sheikravto Lefonai ba Midbar, and the Peterechem that you brought as a sacrifice before me in the Midbar. Omra Lefonov, Kaisel says before Gadish Borochu, Ribaina shall oilom. Hoyel ve en Shikhalifne Kisokavoidecho. Since there's no forgetfulness in front of your throne, Shemolo Tishkahli, Maisa Ha Egel, maybe we won't forget also about the Maisa Egel. Oh my law, the puzzle goes on to say at the end, Gam Ela Tishakachno, also these I you shall forget. Or also these I shall forget. Omro Lefonov, Kleisio says, if you're going to forget, maybe you're going to forget also the good things. Shema tishkach li maise sinai. Maybe you'll forget the maise sinai. Omar lo kabolas tahataro. Omar lo. It says in the end of that post, the last three words. Vanoichi lo eshkachich. And I will not forget. It's a reference to anoichi. I. Anoichi Hashem alokecha. Shall say sicha meretz mitzrayim mi beis avodim. That beginning where Akash Baruch Hu opened up. The Aser Sadibos with the word Anoichi, that I will not forget you, said Hakrish Borchu to Klai Yisrael. Behind Omar Belozar, Rav Shaya, my dear Steve, what is meant by the Posuk, Gam Eila Tishkachano, also these I will forget, Zemaisa Haegel, Hakrish Borchu will say, I will forget the Maisa Haegel. However, Anoichi, Lo Eshkachech, Zemaisa Sinai, but Anoichi I will not forget, that is what Hakrish Borchu said at Har Sinai by Kabbalah Satoro. Says the Gemara, quoting our Mishnah, Chasidim Harishoinim, Hoyu Shoihin Sha'achas. The earlier pious men, they would wait in an hour before davening. The Mishnah says they would wait that hour in order to then think about themselves and their deficiencies, the human weaknesses, and also in contrast, the greatness of Akadish Borg and his perfection in order to prepare themselves for tefillah. Ask the Gemara, Meno Hanimili, from where do we know these words that they waited an entire hour before? What's the source for that? Om Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Om Akro, Ashrei Yoshvei Vesecha, fortunate are those who dwell in your house. V'om Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Hamispalo Tzorich Lishois, Sho'achas Achar Tefilosoi. A person needs to then wait a Sho'achas before davening. Shenemar as it says, Ach Tzadikim, sorry, Shal Achas after davening. Shenemar says, Ach Tzadikim yoidu lishmecho, yeshvu yishorim es ponecho. Only the Tzadikim, they will praise your name, and they will sit, meaning they will dwell, they will, they will wait, the upright ones in your presence. So we have a time before to wait, and also a time afterwards both implying that a person should then meditate before and after tefillah. Tanya Nami Hoch, we have a b'risa that also supports this. Hamitzpalel tzorich sheyehi sho'achas koidem tefillosoi, v'sho'achas achar tefillosoi. The b'risa says also a person should wait before davening and also after davening by thinking about his tefillah. Koidem tefillosu minayin, ashrei, shenemar ashrei yoshrei veisecho, lachar tefillosu minayin, dirsiv ach tzadikim yodi lishmecho, yeishvu yeshorim es ponecho. Says the Gemar quoting the following b'raise, tonu rabbonon, chasidim harishoinim, 
Hayushoin Sho Achas. The earlier pious men, like it says in our Mishnah, they waited an entire hour. Here, Sho Achas doesn't just mean a amount of time, it means a full hour. Umispalin Sho Achas. The Brazil goes on to say, and they also daven for a full hour. And they also waited an entire hour after the tefillah to come down from that lofty level and think about themselves and the relation to Hakadosh Baruch Hu and their tefillah. As the Gemara, v'chi ma'achas sheshoyin teisha shos bayoyim b'tefillah tarosan heich mishdameres u'malachtan heich nasis. If a person spends an hour before an hour during, and an hour after tefillah, and there are three tefillahs during the day. That's a total of nine hours a day that's dedicated solely for tefillah. What's going to be with their Torah? And what's going to be with their parnosa? Says the Gemara, Ela chasidim heim, because these are extremely pious people, Torosam mishtameres, umalachtan misbareches. Their Torah will be learned and also all of their reviewing, they'll have tremendous brach, they won't have to review as much and they'll remember and know their learning. As well as when it comes to Parnassah, the little amount of malacha that they will do, they'll find tremendous bracha with that hishtalus of Parnassah that they are doing. Says the Gemara, quoting our Mishnah, Afilu HaMelech Shoyal B'Shloimoi, if a person is in the middle of davening, even if a king comes and asks how he is doing, he shall not interrupt his tefillah. Says the Gemara to qualify this. We're talking about in this Mishnah that a person should not interrupt his tefillah when a Melech Yisrael is coming to ask how he is doing. But if it's a melech of Avoidus Kaychovim, then you shall stop because then it's a matter of Pikuach Nefesh. He might kill the one who's being mispalil, and therefore he's supposed to stop and answer that melech, Pikuach Nefesh is doiche de tfilo. Meisvei asked the Gemara, ha mispalil vero anas bakenegdoi, a onas. A strong and dangerous person comes to hurt him, or Ra Karon Bokenegdo, or he sees a carriage that's going to come and run him over. Here it says he does not stop, but rather he makes his tefillah shortened. Stiram. On the one hand, it says that when it comes to Pikuach Nefesh, like a Melech Akum, a person is to be Mavsik. Yet when it comes to an, oin, an Onus, an Onus, or a Koroin, that is coming to then also endanger his life, there it says he's to Mekatzer. Says the Gemara Lokashio, Ha de'efshe lekatzer, yekatzer, v'im lav poisik. If a person is able to then Mekatzer, he's at the very end of his Tefillah, then Mekatzer. But if a person cannot, then he's to be poisik because again, it's pikuach nefesh. Says the Gemara with a brayse toner abonon, maise bechosid echot. The Gemara tells us with the following maise that takes place with a pious man, shahaya mispala baderech, who was traveling on the road and he davened. Bo sar echod venosen loy sholom, velo hichzer loy sholom. The sar, a Gentile, sar comes and he gives him. Shalom, ask him his well-being. And he doesn't answer, he's in the middle of his tefillah. Himtin loy, ashe siyem tefilloso. The Tsar waits until the chassi finishes his tefillah. La'ach ashe siyem tefillosoi, after the chassi finishes, Omar lei reiko, ve'haloi kosu betaroschem, raki shome lecho shmor nafshecho. Here the Torah tells you in more than one place that you should protect yourself and guard yourself. Then when I said to you, Shalom, why don't you return and answer me? If 
if I would chop, he says to the chassid, your head off, would anybody come and find me guilty? Wait until I mephais you, appease you with the following words. If you were standing in front of a king, another person, an ordinary person came while you're in front of the king. And he would say to you, Sholem, would you interrupt your audience with the king in order to then answer that person back? Omer love. the Tsar said certainly not. And if you would, Machzir, if you would say something to this ordinary person while you're in front of the king, what would they do to you? They would lop off my head with a sword. I shouldn't interrupt my audience with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Miyad nispayes oyser hasar, veniftar oyser chosid lebeisoy lesholom.